What's up guys? Today we're talking GoPros. More specifically, we're talking about how to edit your GoPro footage and then upload it into YouTube. There's a couple of different software applications that you can use, but everything that we're gonna to cover today can be done in pretty much any free editing software. We're gonna start with a quick trim in the GoPro player, and then after that, we're gonna move into iMovie and do a few more advanced techniques. If you're a PC user, not to worry. You can also do this with a program called DaVinci Resolve. They have a free version, and all the techniques will be the exact same. The buttons might just be in a different location. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. All right, so as you can see here, we have the GoPro player and some footage that I filmed earlier. We can hit the play button and start to watch what we have. And it's just a quick clip of me trying to do some wheelies. And the first one I failed miserably. Obviously, if we're showing it on the internet, we can hide those failures. So we can just go ahead and cut to a longer wheelie. So we can do that by scrolling to the right here on the footage. The second attempt at my wheelie was pretty successful. We can click the scissor button here to start our trim and it'll initiate and then we can swipe it to the right or scroll and we'll scroll through our footage until the end of the wheelie which we've now completed. We'll click the scissor button again to finalize the trim, the check, create new trimmed document, and then it's gonna create that new document. We're now able to save this, and we're just gonna go ahead and call it wheelie one. And we now have a clip. So if you wanted to, you'd be able to take this clip and you could upload it directly into YouTube. However, I'm gonna show you some more advanced techniques that we can work on today, and we're gonna do that with iMovie. So now that we opened up iMovie, we're gonna to go to Import Media, and instead of using the clip that we made, uh, we're gonna start off with that original clip so we can do a few more things to it. We're gonna import the selected item, and we can now take that, long version of the video, drop it into our timeline, and we have the ability to trim and make edits as we see fit. So just like in the GoPro player, and like you'd be able to do in DaVinci Resolve if you're on a PC, you can drag to the right in order to shorten the length of your total video clip. So in this particular case, we're gonna skip past that first failed wheelie clip, and again, we're gonna get to right before the wheelie is successful, and I'm gonna use Command B which is called a split. And then I'm gonna click the delete button in order to get rid of that first failed wheelie attempt. Now we'll start the footage and I immediately begin my wheelie and it continues into the longer version. So we're gonna again scroll to the very end of that and I'm gonna click command B and split that, and now I've got my first clip of the wheelie. However, we've got big plans for today. We're gonna to make a quick little edit and cut together multiple wheelie attempts and toss some music over the top of it. So we're gonna to get to the next wheelie, again, cut that footage and delete the initial portion, and let's scroll to the end of it, right about there. Uh, but I think I like this church, so I'm gonna go a bit past it. And then after that, we're gonna scroll all the way to the end of our footage and get some of this final bit of the clip just for additional content that's not me doing a wheelie. There's gonna be some cars passing by. We'll go ahead and keep that in there. Oh, that's me doing a wheelie again. So we're gonna cut that part out. I think we have enough wheelie action for today uh, and we'll be able to rely on that. So we have our three clips as you can see here, uh, but let's go ahead and mix up the order of it. So we're gonna put this at the front instead and then we've got our second clip, which is jumping into the wheelie, and then we have our third. So I did the rough cut on the footage. Now is the perfect opportunity to toss in some music. A quick note on music, in case you're unfamiliar, if you're ever trying to monetize your videos, you have to make sure that the music you're using is copyright free. A lot of people will often wonder where they can get music from that they can use in their YouTube videos, and you may not be aware, but you can actually get it within YouTube. So once you create your YouTube account, you'll be able to open it and you'll be able to view your YouTube studio. Once you open YouTube Studio, you can go down to the audio library on the far left-hand side, and here you can see all the options of music that are available to you to choose from, as well as the license type. And as you can see, you're free to use this audio track in any of your videos. I already made a selection and downloaded it, so now we just wanna import it into our project. I'm gonna select the music clip that I downloaded, and then just like the video clip, we wanna drag that down to the bottom, 
and there we have it. After I've made my rough cut of the video clips, I like to add in my music and then make finer cuts to the beat of the music so that the entire video is synchronized. So we'll take a quick listen to the beat of the music and see where we want to cut it. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we've got a bit of background noise as well as the sound of the hub on the bike. I'm not too interested in that. So we can change the volume of the video clip. We can do that by clicking it and then going up to the top and clicking the volume and then making our adjustment to turn that volume down. We'll go ahead and say that we want it to be 40%. To do it on the other clips, we can highlight them. That way we can change both in one attempt. 40%. Now that we have that, we can listen again. And that's much better. The music is definitely coming through more clearly. Now we want to start cutting the video clips so that it matches up to the music. Before we get started with that, let's change the view of our timeline. We can do so by dragging this out and now we've got more room to work with and everything's larger and we can see the specific timing points of the beat of the music. So we'll look at our first clip here and let that start to play. And then right there, the beat of the music increases just a bit. And that's right when I want to cut it. So we're going to go ahead and add a cut there. And then I'm going to delete some of this footage to make it a bit of a jump cut to make it more interesting and seem faster paced. From here, I'm going to make a few more cuts to increase the pace of it and get us closer to the action. Not too bad, but when that car drove by in front of me, it was a little bit loud at the beginning. So I only want to alter that sound. And you can do so by dragging this volume slider right down here, drag that to the right, and now you can see that there's a curve. And at the lowest end of this curve, it's silencing the audio and it's gradually getting louder. So let's play the clip and see what it sounds like. Definitely better. We don't have nearly as much noise. That's perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. Now at the beginning, I would love to toss in my logo. So again, we're going to import an item. So I'm going to import media and then I'm going to choose my logo and we're going to import that selected item. Now that my clip has been imported, we're going to drag that down and put it right over the top of our first clip. And now you can see the image is displayed over the footage. However, I don't really like the way that iMovie puts this in here, so we're gonna make some edits. We're gonna change the crop method to style of fit instead of Ken Burns, and then we're gonna change it from cutaway to picture in a picture, and as you can see, we're back to how it looked originally. I'm gonna click the reset button, which is gonna pretty much center it, and that's right where I want it, so let's see how it looks. <laughs> Not too bad, I like that, but let's clean it up a bit by just shortening it and putting it so it's only over this one clip. That's perfect. I definitely like the look of that. I'm gonna make a few quick cuts to the wheelie footage and then we're gonna have a finished product. We have our full wheelie here, but it's pretty long and kind of slow. So I'm gonna speed it up. You can do that by right clicking and then showing the speed editor and we can make adjustments in order to speed this up or slow it down. To speed it up, we're gonna drag it to the left and make it smaller, which shortens it on our timeline. Let's see how it looks. Not too bad. I'd say that I like that. So now we're going to take a look at our next clip of the footage and we're going to speed it up and then slow it down right when the shadow is coming along this wall here because I like the look of that. It's pretty good. So to do that, I'm going to make a cut right here and then a cut at the beginning and I'm going to change the speed of this first portion, speed that up. And then you can see we have our wall footage and through here, let's go ahead and we're going to slow that down by dragging it to the right. And then we're going to finish it out at the church with a nice fade at the end. To do that, we can go up to our transitions and there's a fade to black, drag that to our timeline, drop it in at the bottom. And now you can see we have all this leftover audio. We don't need any of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut out again, Command B to split and then the delete button to delete it. 
let's see how our footage looks. We now have a 24 second video instead of a two minute long video. say that's pretty good and I'm happy with that. We'll use this as our example to upload to YouTube. So the last thing we want to do is we want to export our clip by going to the top right to the share button and we can say export file. We're going to rename the clip wheelie clip and then we can review our settings. So format, video and audio because we have both the resolution this was recorded in 1080p we want to always use the max resolution the quality high or best is my recommendation and then compress you can say faster or better quality i'd recommend better quality if you have the time to a lot for it just to make sure that you can retain the best footage possible that's coming out of the camera now that our exporting has completed we can go back to youtube and we can find the upload button in the top right the create button with the camera and the plus you can click there and say upload video a new window will open and you'll be able to select the file that you'd like to upload once you've selected your video you'll be able to name a title let's name it please subscribe and then you can fill out your details information in this in the description as you can see i already have pre-filled data here you can do this from within your channel settings and then after that you can scroll down you can upload a custom thumbnail if you'd like or you can utilize a predetermined thumbnail that youtube chooses you can add it to a playlist and you can also add tags to help your video potentially get more visibility based on the information. So if I wanted to add something about wheelies here, I can do that. And once this is complete, you can click the next button and you can add an end screen once the video has finished processing. The video clip that we just created is too short. However, I've used another video. You can see that I've added the subscribe button as well as two videos that hopefully future viewers can click on if they're interested in seeing more content here on Global Trail Guide. Once that's done, we can click save. And then from here, we can click next and we can choose when we would like to publish the video. We can publish it now and make it public or we can schedule it for a future release and we could choose the date and time accordingly whenever it is that you'd like it to be released. After that, we can click the schedule button or we can click the publish button and it'll publish immediately. I hope that this video has been beneficial to you. I plan on making more videos like this in the future and getting into more advanced editing techniques and using different applications such as Final Cut Pro, which is my personal video editing app of choice. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tell me what to edit next.